Peggy 18. Hi, I'm Brian Fargo, studio head for In Exile. Today, I'm going to tell you about the types of choices you make in Wasteland 2. Choices that may be small or easy to make, and show you how the consequence of those choices ripple out. Some of them with dramatic or deadly results that can change the Wasteland forever. You may have heard of the original Wasteland, released in 1988, and which inspired the Fallout series. Now we've delivered a sequel to Wasteland that's been able to benefit from the 25 years of innovation, taking the deep character building, engrossing game world, branching story and reactivity from games like Fallout to the tactical, turn-based combat of games like XCOM Enemy Unknown. Wasteland 2 is about reactivity. We crafted a game that truly responds to your choices. Save someone from overgrown mutant creatures? Break into someone's box of supplies? Shoot some punk in the street? The Wasteland is full of all sorts of crazy cults, cannibals, and groups looking to stake their claims. This game accounts for your choices in dealing with them and reacts accordingly, so no two experiences will be alike. The fate of the Wasteland is in your hands, and the outcomes aren't black and white. I love that goat! Your jerks! In Wasteland 2, you play as a squad of new recruits to the Desert Rangers, enlisted to help the mission of peace and justice in the Arizona Wasteland, decades after a nuclear war wiped out civilization. Your team is tasked with investigating the murder of another ranger, but you quickly find radio broadcasts preaching death to the rangers. From there, you take off investigating this looming threat which stretches from Arizona to Los Angeles. In Wasteland 2, you always have options. Can't pick a lock? Try bashing it or blowing it up with a rocket launcher. Can't beat those guards in a stand-up fight? Try talking your way through, sneaking past them, or finding the back door. Here we are in the Temple of Titan, trying to find a way through to Demonta. Unfortunately, the Mad Monks control this territory and guard the way forward. There are many ways past them, but none are easy. You might try leading with the barrel of your gun, but the monks are known for chucking around nuke grenades like they were party favors. It's going to be a tough battle. Of course, fighting's just one way to go. The monks may be crazy, but even suicidal bomb jockeys have life goals. If helping them find a little nuclear waste for their grenades will get them to let you through to Demonta, why be afraid of a little honest work? Once you're in good with them, the monks have a lot to offer. Guns, ammo, supplies, and even more opportunities to help or harm them. Of course, it's up to you whether you want to accept their assistance and how to use it. But what if you don't want to make friends with a bunch of psychos? Or take a nuke grenade in the face? Well, like we said before, in Wasteland 2, you always have options. And if you made room in your squad for a locksmith, then sneaking through the back door is one of them. This far into the Temple of Titan, you're unwanted guests. You'll need to keep your heads down to avoid detection. But that's no reason why you can't help yourselves to their armory while you're here. Ah, made it. And all tooled up for Demonta. Well done. But this is just one scenario in Wasteland 2. There are hundreds more, each with as many different ways to get through. And as long as you've got a squad with the skills, you can try any of them. Of course, not each one will work for you, but when you're a desert ranger, your choices are your own. And so are the consequences. Make no mistake, in Wasteland 2, no two players will experience the same game. Whatever happens, it will be your story.